All right, so we are here on Chestnut Street, pretty uh, famous place here in Salem. Um, it's a pretty nice day today, right, Pooks? Yeah. And now uh, there goes the trolley. That's the trolley I was in. So the trolley's gonna go down the street showing everybody Chestnut Street. Anyway, we're gonna make our way down Chestnut Street and check out one of the uh, most beautiful streets in the United States and um, see what some of the places look like. Pretty well-known street. Uh, a lot of people like to travel down here on their walks that live here. But we'll take a look at it. All right, we're gonna start on one side, make our way all the way down and back. Right, Boots? Yeah. No music, no nothing on this one. Just a nice little walk listening to the sounds. Little brick road. That one there, built by Thomas Saunders, 1810. Look at these houses. Like, was, that, was this year like 2,000 years ago? Or was like... No, it wasn't 2,000 years ago. I, I don't know, okay? Or was it like... It's like lifestyles of the rich and shameless. Look at these fences. Larry opened the door and there was some woman trying to get up. I'm not quite sure how. I looked at the picture first. Some moss growth. So this street used to be full of elms. And they're all gone, but still a little bit of a canopy that does the whole street cover it up. Look at this. Beautiful big homes. What an entrance, huh? That Imagine like, coming home to that. Doesn't that house look kind of like home below? Almost, yeah. Nice big yard with a big home. Look at that entrance. Oh my god. The plants are like growing out. Yeah, they're plant. growing out, right? Yeah, that's, I, they have been there for like for so many years that they're already growing. The light out. poles are awesome. And they got speed bumps here, prevent people from flying down the road. The planters on them. Another beautiful entrance. I want, a lot of them look the same. Right? They're crossing over Pickering Street. Oh, yeah, I know we'll get over there in a minute. Mm -hmm. Always Pickering. It's okay. It's okay. Green Dodge, 1802. Little cobblestones.
It's the other side. We'll be making our way back from over there later. Looks like the back side of the other house. I actually be like having a huge house for just one person. Getting close to the end, we got one more street to cross and then we get to the end. Never seen a door like that. Yeah. Almos and Salmon Town, 1804. So that's how it's been there for a while. I wonder if like the oldest house in Salem is here, but I think they tore it down, I don't know. Or upgrade it. This is Hamilton Hall. And it is one of the most beautiful historic federal buildings in the country. We don't get to see it from the inside, but it's pretty nice looking on the inside. They do a lot of functions and stuff like that on the inside. This place is old. Check out these cobblestones, how oh, they're all laid up. <laughs> Deacon John Stone, 1827. Coming to the end of Chestnut. We're gonna make a U-turn right over here on this street. And we're gonna head back the other way. Chestnut's really not that big. There we go. Back up on Chestnut Street. Pretty building. Built for Deacon John Stone, 1826. We're heading up in the other direction now. Check this one, built for Charles S. Nichols, 1853. A long time by now. This one, Daniel Gregg, house right, 1804, 1805. Nice little, nice little bushes garden over here. Private garden, guests welcome dawn to dusk. Ooh, let's check this out. Wait, we're allowed in. 
private garden guest welcome dawn to dusk. Leash dogs allowed. Okay, Mia, that means you can come in if I get a leash. Bruh. Let's go in. Uh, welcome to the Chestnut Street Garden. A couple little sitting spots, trash barrel it looks like. Yep, trash barrel. That's kind of cool. Keeps the raccoons out. Nice little spot. I would love to have a backyard like this. Like at all. Big tree right in the middle here in Seoul, huh? Yeah. Nice little park. All right, let's keep on going on the street. Hamilton Hall again. And let's keep going. I'm telling you, I don't know what I did in my life, but it would have been great to be born into one of these families that own these houses. Damn. Look at these things. Wait, are you actually serious? Are you actually serious? Are you looking All right, what do we got here? Captain Jonathan Hodges. Town Treasurer, 1805. Yeah, looks like it's for sale. Couldn't even imagine how many millions this thing is. Yeah, this house is really nice. This little kitty corner. Look at this thing. That chimney is, looks like it's like halfway getting ready to fall. All it needs is a little push and that thing's going. This house right here is all done up nice and looks like it's for sale from Sotheby's. Getting a little tour guide. These trees are gorgeous. Oh, here we got another one, Stephen C. Phillips Esquire, 1838. It's right here. It looks like you can almost climb right up it. Look at them all. I don't know. Personally, I'd probably want to remove all those leaves so that mice don't climb up, but it's kind of cool. They 
because when you know that that building has been there for a long time. Like that one, you look at Turn over here, any tablet? No, no wall tablets on this one. It's pretty though. Oh, that's a cute little 28 and a half. Must be like a little side apartment over there. Kind of cool. A little pack of ferns over here. And over here we got the Phillips House Museum. Eighteen twenty one. Says it's closed today, yeah. But it, imagine how beautiful it would be this one. Yeah. Yeah, look at this building. This thing's kept up really, really nice. New paint job, it looks like. Seashell on that door. The wreath on that door. Let's see what we got here. James W. Thompson, clergyman, 1845. And then the Maria Ropes Building, 1858. Check that out, it's got shutters, shutter protectors for the front door. This one here, this is Martha Luscombe Webb, 1870. Little, cute little garden in the back. And the last building we have is built for Caroline, Cam, Caroline Emerton, philanthropist, 1909. Pretty nice. And that essentially is it for Chestnut Street. All right, we're going to get out of here and head back. I'm going to go to downtown Salem. I don't know if I'm going to film some more. I might. We might go to Goodnight Fatty to get some cookies and stuff. If I do, I'll film that. Mm -hmm. This one loves for some Goodnight Fatties. If you have Goodnight Fatties, you have to give them the name. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, all right, that's it for right now. Put another video later. If there's anything you want me to record or go see and film it, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Other than that, bye.